are just two days away from UTEP football playing its annual Orange and Blue Spring Game. It's going to be the first spring game under the direction of new head coach Scotty Walden. KTSM 9 Sports Director Sam Guzman is alongside Coach Walden and wide receiver Trey Goodman. And guys, should be a lot of fun out there on Saturday. We're going to actually play a, an actual game on Saturday. Yeah, that's right, Andy. You said a new era of UTEP football launches on Saturday, as you said, joined by UTEP head coach Scotty Walden and UTEP wide receiver Trey Goodman. Orange and blue game to cap off the first spring season of the Walden era on Saturday at the Sun Bowl. Uh, gentlemen, let's just thank you for joining us. Let's just get right into thank it. You, coach Walden, thank yeah. you for having us. 14 practices down, yeah. one more to go, the big one. Just yeah. after all this month, how are you feeling about your team heading into the big day on Saturday? Yeah, we're, we're on opportunity 15 now, which is, all, which is our Saturday spring game. Orange and blue, fired up. Uh, you know, the guys are working extremely hard. The energy's been great. I just, I love the coachability of our team. I love how they have just been wanting to learn and wanting to grasp our culture and all the new schemes. We've thrown a lot at them, you know, and uh, I really love where the energy's at right now. And I'm excited to see that culminate on, on Saturday. Trey, from a player's perspective, you're the one running and taking the hits yeah. and, and putting the <laughs> physical work into yeah. uh, these practices. Just what is Saturday going to mean for you guys? Because this is the first time, you know, fans are going to get to see the new brand of UTEP football. Right, right. Yeah, man, it's it, it's a great opportunity. Like we say, it's opportunity 15. It's an opportunity to showcase to the city of El Paso, showcase to UTEP family everywhere. Just show them all the work that we've been uh, putting in and, you know, working fearlessly and working vigorously towards trying to know each other as well as trying to get better on the field. So just a big culmination, like you said, of a uh, team off the field and on the field. So we're looking forward to it. Now, I feel like there's a lot of excitement brewing around this game here mm. in the Sun City. I mean, you guys have built it up. 25 former uh, UTEP football players yeah. serving yeah. as celebrity head coaches. I think you had Jim Center and Heather Wilson mm. yeah. as draft the, the teams. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, you've got the garage sale. Just what yeah. went into the approach to just have a spring game like this, something the city hasn't seen in a while? Yeah, it was really cool. And I really appreciate our administration, number one, putting on such an amazing event. You know, we, we kind of started to combine ideas back all the way back in January. You know, things that we had done at our previous institution and kind of what had been done here and then, and then just make it more fit into ours. And the biggest thing I wanted to get across was, you know, I want our fan base to be excited about this season because we want to give them a product to be proud of. And, and also I wanted to welcome back all of our alums. And that's where we have like Will Hernandez serving as a, as a guest coach, uh, Quentin Demps serving as a guest coach. And then I wanted to get our administration involved. You know, uh, our president and, and our AD do so much for our program and our university. So it was really cool to see them uh, go at it this morning. We had our draft this morning and uh, it, uh, it got pretty competitive. So, uh, you know, it's fun when you make them a part of it because uh, they're competitors as well, Jim Center and Dr. Wilson. And so we're really excited, uh, you know, to have uh, our alumni back and have them involved in the game on, on Saturday. Now I'll send you guys off on this just Saturday, 10 a.m. Sun Bowl. If you're there, Trey, we'll start with you. Just what are the people going to see? <sighs> a brand of fearless, fast, and physical football. That's it. You're going to see an energized sideline. You're going to see an energized field. You're going to see an energized blue and orange team, coaches and staff on both sides. That's just the culture that we bring to the game, and we're so excited to just exemplify all the things that we've been working hard for, the things that we've been doing in the, lark, doing in the dark, finally being brought to the light. So I can tell you that you are definitely going to see a lot of excitement, a lot of fearless, fast, and physical football, and you're definitely going to see people jumping around and, you know, putting a good brand of football on tape. So, cool. I think, Trey, I, listen, yeah, coach. I, I, I can't talk to that. That's my guy right there. I, can't, <laughs> I, got, I got nothing. He said it best, but it is going to be awesome. Bring your families out the garage sale. We got, yep. you know, we're, we're selling all the old Nike gear, and, you know, at halftime, you don't want to take a break either because we actually have some halftime competitions with our celebrity coaches. We're bringing back guys like Trevor Vitito. Uh, we talked about Will and uh, we've got a 40 yard dash. We got a long ball toss and those actually yeah. affect the points for the game. So there's 38 mm -hmm. points on the line at halftime. So one team may go into halftime winning, come out losing, you know, so it's all awesome. on your celebrity coaches. It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun at the Sun Bowl. It sounds like a lot of fun. Can't <laughs> wait. Saturday 10 a.m. kickoff time at the Sun Bowl. You'll catch these guys in a lot more in action. So. Saturday, there's the place That's to be. That's right. Guys, thank Thanks, you. Guys. We'll be right, right back after the break.